Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 19, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index, which is becoming really interesting at this point. So what we have seen the last few weeks is that we have uh, basically been bouncing off the 20 exponential, the 200 moving average, and then the 20 exponential yet again. So we did see a rally last week. Uh, this was basically Wednesday above the 300 moving average, broke down on Thursday, and then on Friday again, rallied, and then no pullback at the end of the session. And uh, if we have another clear green candlestick above here on Monday and probably also on Tuesday, and it's a really, uh, probably a good indication that we'll go and target 93.45 and then towards these highs here of 94.3. And when we have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average, that kind of is an indication that in the next few months, this is more likely to go higher than going lower. And that will have major implications for things that are basically priced in the US dollar as they will become more expensive. And when something becomes more expensive, then demand for those things will decline. For example, go, uh, gold, uh, for example, oil, uh, stocks, and so on. So the long-term uh, depreciation of uh, the US dollar may be coming to a close at this point. And, and uh, we'll probably have a very dismal, uh, dismal year the next few months for stocks indices and so on if that were is going to be the case but we'll see what basically happens if you look at the uh, macd is basically uh, underneath the second line but it's flat stochastic is bullish and the rsi is uh, fairly bullish as well we're 62 so we're approaching uh, overbought conditions and we're also approaching the top of the bullish band here but opening is going to say a lot where this technique goes especially in the crossing of the 200 and the 50 moving average. So let's look at oil. So oil is uh, continuing to fall off a cliff at this point. It is uh, kind of a matter of it's about time, I was supposed to say, considering how far this has rallied and how fast it has been rallying in an economy that not, isn't really that good. Uh, that the US economy or the world economy in general is not doing as well as prior to uh, the coronavirus. And uh, yes, the question is whether or not we break the 50 moving average. If we do, then we could be looking at a massive drop all the way down here to 60 and the 200 moving average. If you look at uh, historical perspective, if you go to the weekly chart for oil then we are basically approaching the same levels that we were approaching in 2018 and then we basically fell off a cliff down towards 43 dollars not saying that it's going to happen here uh, i know what basically caused this this was basically a tweet from donald trump um uh, something by iran and so on and then it just completely collapsed but considering how bullish this has been it shouldn't take much for somebody basically to spook this market and and um, US dollar could be a catalyst for that if that can, uh, continues to appreciate then this market can get spooked and uh, uh, we'll have a massive drop in this market we can see that we are about to cross the signal line here in the MACD in the weekly chart and usually that is not a good sign it tends to drop substantially we could and for the weekly chart, for example, uh, the middle of the bullish band, 66, could be a target. Drop below that, then we have the bottom at the 56 and the 200 moving average. This is probably where an area where there'll be massive support. So let's look at uh, natural gas. So natural gas is bouncing off the 20 exponential. So we have been doing that for technically forever at this point, And this is a very bullish candlestick indeed on Friday. However, other technical indicators are not as bullish. The MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So break below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 down here at 3.26. And the break above these candlestick here at 3.8 
Well, that opens the door all the way up towards, uh, we need to look here, well, technically significantly higher. We are looking at these higher levels here, probably up towards the four, uh, four will be the next uh, target for natural gas. But at the moment, technical indicators are showing that momentum is to the downside. So let's look at copper. So copper is still struggling and uh, strengthening US dollar will not basically help uh, for copper. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is bullish as well. We are struggling at the 20 exponential and uh, usually when you struggle at, in a, uh, at a moving average for this long, it basically tends to drop the opposite direction. So we may see this drop towards the previous lows here at uh, roughly 4.08 and then four and then to the 200 moving average down at 3.8 to the upside 50 moving average should offer massive resistance so let's look at gold so gold market is uh, looking really interesting uh, one of the main reasons why we are finding uh, resistant here is first of all we have the 300 and the 50 moving average right above where we basically pull back and we did pull back quite substantially. And furthermore, we also have the 50 Fibonacci retracement right at this area here. So if we were to break above that, then the 61.8 is just above. But it's clearly massive resistance to these two moving averages, also because we were overstretched, and we have the 50, uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement right at this area. So question is how far this can basically fall. If we look at the Fibonacci retracement the other way and say that this was basically the top here, then we have the 60, uh, 38.2 right here, and then we have the 50 down at 17, around 1800, and then we have the 61.8 here around at 1784. Break below that, then we're going to the previous lows here at 1750. And if 7050 drops, breaks, then we're looking at the bottom, double bottom here at 16.78. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is uh, becoming bearish and the RSI is bearish indeed. So break below the 20 exponential then basically could be a warning sign that this will uh, drop substantially. So let's look at silver. So silver broke the 200 moving average and there is no pullback at the end of the session. That is a very bad sign and uh, Yes, usually gold, uh, silver follow, follows gold. That usually is the case. Um, this is more bearish than, than gold is. Um, MACD is about to cross the signal line, become bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. There's still room to the downside, and we're basically at the bottom of the bullish band. So we could see this uh, rally up towards the 200 moving average if we get rejected there, or at the 20 again. And we can drop towards 25 and the 300 moving average at 24.56. So let's look at platinum. So platinum also fell off a cliff on Friday, ran into the 50 moving average, and then bang. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish. So at this point, we are we have there's no pullback at the end of the session. And again, that is a very bad sign. It uh, doesn't mean that we can rally here. Usually it tends to um, go lower uh, before going higher. But break below the 200 moving average, then we could see this drop all the way down to the very bottom here at 1031. Or break above the 50 moving average, then we're looking at 1200 and then back to these highs. So, yes, it is... Uh, Difficult to say where this is going at this point. Uh, could be really choppy, could also just go sideways. So this is just uh, a way to see where this basically moves to. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium, yes, that is kind of what it was, was expected for in this market. It uh, struggled up here at uh, 28.59 and then just bang this is a horrible looking candlestick and even though we have this massive drop there is no pullback at the end of the session macd is crossing the line becoming bearish stochastic is bearish and so is the rsi 200 moving average looks like it's going to be the target here as it was support in the past 
uh, rallies will most likely be sold into at the 20 exponential if that is resistant and then will continue lower so market is really drop uh, falling off a cliff this also got very way up ahead of itself but at this point 200 moving average looks like it's going to be the target so let's get aluminium Aluminium also fell towards support at the middle of the bullish band. Also, no pullback at the end of the session. Uh, MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is RSI. So break below the 50 moving average, that could open the door back to the 23, 20, uh, 51. And after that, towards uh, 2250 and the 200 moving average. We're still in an uptrend here, and doesn't. there's no sign that this market is going to completely you know, turn around. Uh, MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. So let's look at nickel. Nickel, on the other hand, rallied, and uh, we are still within this channel here, and we are basically going roughly above there. So we're basically at the top of this channel, and uh, we could see this a pullback at the end, uh, in the beginning of uh, Monday's uh, session. Um, to the bottom, we have this channel right here, or the bottom right there. So we could see this drop back towards around 7, uh, 17,600, give or take a little bit, uh, a bit higher than that. But that's how this has been behaving. If we break above here, then 20k will come into play. So let's look at the sugar. So sugar really took off on on uh, on Friday. We fell. It was expected to go lower, but all of a sudden it just completely rallied. So these markets are fairly difficult to trade. Um, same goes for Cocoa, but it lo still looks like we are still trading within the square. So highs being roughly around the zero point eighteen forty. And then the lows here being roughly 1616. 16. So at the moment, we're most likely going to go back to the highs. If we break below, then the lows here, where the 200 moving average is as well, will most likely be the, the lows. You can see the MACD is turning around, still bearish. The casting is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa really fell off a cliff. We are still in um well still trending downwards so it's going very very choppy and for day traders this is uh absolutely heaven on earth but uh, but but i don't like trading this market because it is a very very unpredictable what we can say here is that uh, 300 moving average at this point was acting as resistant and the bottom of this market is roughly 22.63. So break below that, then we are targeting these previous lows here, 22.38, uh, and then all the way down towards this level here, 20.93. So it is going back and forth, and uh, in long-term perspective, it is continuing to decline over time. And it's probably just a matter of time before we take out these previous lows and then drop really to 20.93. So let's look at wheat. So wheat market completely rallied on Friday. This is getting very overstretched. Um, so way above the Bollinger Band and uh, we are not very high in the RSI. So the other technical indicators are very bullish, but pullback at this point could be expected before going higher. So there's no pullback at the end of the session, but due to the fact that we're way outside of the Bollinger Band, and this doesn't really like to be way outside of the Bollinger Band, this tends to drop significantly when that occurs. Um, but trend here seems to really have changed to the upside. The momentum is definitely to the upside at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.